My name is David Robinson, I'm Senior Advisor at Community Links. My story begins on a bus here in East London some 30 odd years ago. Uh, we used to say that we had converted it into a play bus. So all we really did was, was take the seats out and get some play equipment and we run children's activities on and around the bus, holidays, weekends and so on. Uh, we used to get sometimes 140, 160 kids, uh, enormously successful. And Community Links was, was born out of that experience. I'm speaking to you today from Canning Town Public Hall, which is, uh, used to be an old town hall, which uh, Community Links took over uh, some 15, 18 years ago, was then derelict. We brought it back into community use over a period of about two years, and now uh, pretty consistently around 4,000 people a week use this building. We now work from many different sites across East London, have a staff of around 300, more than a thousand volunteers, but still those important principles that we learnt in those early days, trying to involve the whole community in the process, constantly restless for new ideas, those two principles still underpin what we do. The, the best parents, the best friends, the best managers, the best colleagues uh, don't seek to manage other people's lives. What we need to do is to be the influence in the lives of others that makes them independent, that enables them to run their own lives most effectively. And I therefore believe in this idea of influential leadership and uh, trying to find ways of supporting others that brings the best out of them. Uh, enables them to invest both heart and minds in the, the shared enterprise rather than simply kind of painting by numbers, following the rules, but never really bringing anything of their own into the enterprise. So today, around 80% of our frontline service is delivered by people who first got involved as users of those activities. I want to take you to Milton Keynes, where uh, a while back I spoke at a, uh, a conference over a weekend in a vol uh, voluntary sector conference, and it was held in a, a primary school hall. And it was remarkable for two things. First of all, we all sat on these little low chairs, uh, which focused our minds in the seminar groups, I can tell you, focused them wonderfully. But also, for on the walls beside me, there was a display very different from uh, the messages written on the walls here. It was a display done by uh, children in years three and four, seven and eight-year-olds, where they'd been asked to write their age and their name, and to complete a sentence that began, and I am good at. A couple of examples I remember. My name is Ruth, I'm seven years old, and I'm good at making rabbit noises. <laughs> I'd just say it was very different from the messages on the wall here. <laughs> Another one, my name is Robert, I'm eight years old, and I'm good at driving the car. <laughs> uh, so if ever any of you find yourselves in Milton Keynes, watch out for Robert. Uh, but the one that I, I particularly remember, and that indeed wouldn't look out of place on these walls, was, was Michael. Michael said, my name is Michael, I am eight years old, and I'm good at making big dreams. And what struck me about that was that Michael didn't say I'm a bit of a daydreamer which is probably what his parents or his teachers say about him. But it was something about this idea that a dream, you know, to be worthwhile is something that you've got to work at, you've got to make it happen. And it put me in the mind of what Nelson Mandela said when he was in this country a few years ago, speaking in Trafalgar Square, and he said that uh, uh, vision uh, without action is merely daydreaming. Action without vision just passing time. But with vision and action, we change the world. And I think that is certainly true of... Uh, of continents and, and, and countries and the world, and that's the stage on which he has operated. But I think it is also true in small teams and community organisations and where, wherever we are, there is the opportunity to exercise leadership, leadership from the middle as we describe it here. And it seems to me that change and progress, particularly when there are forces outside of us that are changing with the rapidity uh, that's happening at the moment, that it requires us to find that biting point between uh, vision and action. I uh, had the privilege of working with uh, the last Prime Minister from Number 10, advising on the development of social policy uh, there, and have written and spoken widely on, on leadership and social policy issues, uh, both in this country and further afield. But the things that are important to me about leadership, some of the things I've talked about around values, around clear objectives, around small change, it seems to me are fundamental to leadership in any context, whether it is in the tiniest community group or an enormous government department. But above all, I think we have to understand without daring to do things differently and to change a little bit, we will never do things better. I tell uh, uh, colleagues and students uh, about uh, an experience I had uh, taking my uh, eldest daughter a number of years ago to uh, Colchester Zoo. Well, they used to have a dolphin display. A dolphin used to, one of, one or two of you may also have taken your children there, a dolphin leaping 20 foot in the air through a hoop above the uh, surface of the water. 
And my daughter was entranced by this, and we stayed behind afterwards and talked to the trainer, and I said, how do you get an animal to do something as extraordinary as that? And she said, well, very simply, the dolphin never does anything extraordinary compared to what it did yesterday. What we do is we get the hoop and we put it in the water when the dolphin first comes, and we put his breakfast the other side of the hoop, and he swims through and eats his breakfast. And we do that for about three weeks. And then after that time, we lift the hoop up a little bit, and he still swims through and eats his breakfast. And after about six weeks, the hoop is up to the surface of the water. And after three months, it's uh, 18 inches above the surface of the water. And after six months, it's way up there. But if the dolphin ever thinks about these things, <laughs> it will realize that it is now doing something extraordinary compared to what it was doing uh, last November. But it is not doing anything extraordinary compared to what it was doing uh, yesterday. We learn and progress best, small steps, each one rewarded. And in that way, gradually, we change an enterprise, we change ourselves, and we achieve great things. Uh, what's important to me in talking about these ideas is to make it clear that, that we can all be leaders, and indeed we, we are all required to be leaders from time to time in our own communities, our own teams, even our own families. And we all have the strengths to do that. And what I would like to, to leave people with is an understanding of what those strengths are and how we develop them. Mm -hmm.